Hey Lego Watchers, welcome back. It's Christian's Mega Mock Mania. Another brand new episode by the Weekly Brick. And today's episode is all about, I think you can guess it, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, today's episode is all about Pirates of the Caribbean. I'll be showing off my display of the London Escape and the Captain's Cabin, the two pirate sets uh, I have so far. Uh, the Disney Pirates of the Caribbean, that is. So first, let's go look at the collection so far, which is on display at the Weekly Brick. And as you can see, there's the London Escape. Uh, I did the review of it. It's on YouTube right now. If you haven't had a chance to see it, you can watch it. And in the background is the Captain's Cabin. The Captain's Cabin, there'll be a full review of it up soon. And the Jack Sparrows from the sets. The Soldiers. That one's my favorite. The Captain's Daughter. And the back of the Captain's Daughter. Or Scab Driver, Jasambi Gibbs, all your favorite characters. Now, you can see our Wii in the background. Now, today's episode is all about Pirates of the Caribbean, as I mentioned. You can tell by now. But I'm also going to be doing something different in today's episode. Today's episode, half the video will be uh, my discussion group, which is an audio clip of me with some Pirates of the Caribbean pictures discussing about different topics and questions I've read about the series and one of them being the uh, Black Pearl because as you know and if you might have seen it already the preliminary picture of the Black Pearl was leaked online a couple of weeks ago and some people don't like what it looks like so far but I'm going to give my input and what I believe is good bad and indifferent about it I'll be also answering some generic Lego questions in this discussion group and much more so I'm going to sign off from the real world right now so we can go on to the discussion group world. I'll be there in a quick shake of a lamb's tail. So come along and we're going to discuss. Okay, here we are at the discussion group. Now the first things first is about the Black Pearl. A couple of weeks ago, preliminary photos of the Black Pearl were released. Many fans were happy, many fans were upset. Well, personally, I can go either way. I like how it is so far. I like the minifigures, and I think the simplicity is needed. I mean, many of the LEGO Pirate ships have, uh, are nice, but they're very complicated. They have a lot of complex things. Maybe just having a simple ship would be something fans need and want. However, there is room for improvement, and I believe this isn't what we're going to get in November. We're going to get something bigger and better. I think LEGO will learn uh, from the preliminary photos and revamp on what they had thought of so far because many fans are disgusted and I think they'll take those negative comments and turn them into good comments once the set is released in its final version. I like the minifigure selection and I'm not one of those fans that goes crazy that there's no Elizabeth Swan because I personally feel you can get her in the Isla de Muerta set for 20 bucks and that's not a lot and you can add her in. I don't see the problem with that. I think the selection is good and we finally get a Davy Jones minifigure and personally I'm really excited for the set and it will be one I pick up. Now the second question I'm going to be answering is do you think a second wave is possible? Yes. Uh, a couple of months ago there was a posting on Eurobricks, a great LEGO website, on its uh, Classic Pirates website that a user spoke to a LEGO store employee. The LEGO store employee hinted that a second wave was definite and that it would have some sort of flying Dutchman ship and would go even beyond what we saw so far. And personally, that would be great. I mean, LEGO saw the popularity and the sales of these Pirates of the Caribbean sets and I think they're already planning this wave and there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming out for that. I mean, we can get our Kraken, we could get everything we needed, we can even get the soldiers if LEGO thought about that. And I'm positive this if a second wave is possible, it will be great. Now the last question is, do you think Classic Pirates will return once Pirates of the Caribbean is over? I think so. You know, many people are discussing this. Some people saying yes, some people saying no. I personally say, oh yeah, because LEGO has analyzed the popularity of the Pirates theme 
from when they returned it for that anniversary theme in 2009, from when the Imperial flagship was released in 2010, and from the licensed Pirates of the Caribbean in 2011. And they're still using uh, the Pirates in books and games and stuff like that, so they're not gone forever. They're still around. And I think they'll probably return to it once Pirates is over and the fad is over from Pirates of the Caribbean and go back to its roots. Classic Pirates. I would love to see classic blue coats and the red coats returning and the classic Pirates. I don't think that's the last of Brickbeard for a while. And with Blackbeard this year for Pirates of the Caribbean line, I think they're trying to hint that more Pirates uh, will be coming. So that's all for this episode of Christian's Mega Mock Mania, and the next episode will be an interview with a Lego mother who's a, uh, is going to discuss with us about uh, what she feels Lego is educational-wise and family-friendly. So goodbye there. Dismissed.